Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Well, I found some new interesting photo on Chinese social media. This photo has been circulating on independent Chinese defense analysts not affiliated to the PLA. In the photo, we can see a new tank system that's being tested by China. And according to some Chinese analysts, this new tank is a hybrid engine system, while probably still using the chassis, one of the most advanced tank, the Type 99A. So why would China integrate a diesel and electric propulsion on a tank? Well, it's simple. Because it could improve their existing tank's performance, especially in high-altitude operation near the line of actual control within the border of India and China, which the two countries have a history of conflict there. For example, a heavy tank burns a lot of fuel all the time, whether on a high-performance maneuver or just cruising on a plain field. While a tank with electric propulsion could allow the tank save energy on cruising by using electric propulsion and use high power only on extreme maneuver. So this would drastically increase the tank's efficiency and range. Also, a tank's greatest weakness against anti-tank missile is the tank's massive heat signature from its diesel engine. So heat-seeking anti-tank missile could feast on them, while tank running on electric propulsion would have a much lesser heat signature, and it would make the tank stealthier because an electric engine has a much lesser noise. Also, as I mentioned earlier, tank-to-tank -tank clashes on the Himalayan mountain in the border of India and China, tanks normally don't excel there due to its heavy weight against uphill terrain. But most notably, High Altitude Mountain has thinner oxygen level, and a tank's large diesel engine needs enough oxygen intake to power its high-performance engine. Less oxygen means possible diminished engine performance, while a hybrid system could mitigate this problem by using electric motor to burst enough torque without the need of high oxygen intake. Previously, to mitigate that problem, China has developed and deployed their Type 15 light tank for many years on the Himalayan mountain. And for India to counter this, since their T-90 is struggling there, India started to develop their own Zorawar light tank. Also, as it was pointed out by Chinese defense analysts, a new tank with hybrid propulsion would make the tank more adaptable to the latest modern threats. Because as we can see on the ongoing situation in Ukraine, we barely don't see any more a tank versus tank battle like 20 years ago. Most of the tanks now are being destroyed by $500 FPV drones. So a hybrid tank system could allow the tank to carry and power extensive high-energy weapon to counter drones such as jammers and lasers that could protect tanks against FVP drones. These efforts reflect on China's current goal to adapt their forces to the latest modern threats in the battlefield. China has been extensively learning and adapting on the situation in Ukraine. For example, the Chinese Type 99A tank has a 120mm smooth bore gun and it has advanced fire control system with a good mix of composite armor, a soft kill protection system, and a hard kill protection system, making the tank a very formidable tank in a modern standard. It has also 1500 horsepower, allowing it to run at maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 600 kilometers. Now, if you could incorporate a hybrid propulsion into this tank, you could still get all those capability with even better improvement, like less tank noise, less heat signature, and more importantly, increased range by being much fuel efficient. This could drastically improve the tank's flexibility. Because China is no doubt now the king of EV vehicles, BYD even sold more EV cars than Tesla last year. Even Tesla used the Chinese BYD Cat L batteries on their cars because the EV cars batteries everything. So it would not be surprising if China can leverage the civilian technology into their military. Although we couldn't verify for now what kind of hybrid this tank is, whether they have option to use diesel engine or a battery to power the tank, or the diesel engine would only be there to power and charge the tank's battery when its full charge runs out. Hybrid propulsion on tank is not new. The United States and Germany have tested this possibly in the past, with the U.S. Army testing the system like the Allison E-Gen Force, designed for a 50-ton platform like the M2 Bradley. But it could also be scaled for heavier vehicles like tanks. Well, Germany had the Genesis Demonstrator that uses diesel-electric generator with in-wheel motors, delivering 1,368 kilowatts and 15,622 newton-meter of torque. 
But both of these programs seem to have been canceled to not get more funding. And now it seems China is leading the charge into this technology development. For now, we just have to wait and see in the future if Western countries would follow in this Chinese innovation. One thing is for sure, though. China now is not just copying Western system. Instead, they're innovating ahead in some areas. Thanks to their large military funding, which is the second biggest defense budget in the world, second only to the United States, and some Western analysts are even saying China is not being honest of their defense funding. But in reality, they spend as much as the United States now in their military. While at the same time, they produce equipment per unit at a much lower cost compared to the United States.